Hi guys, a very warm welcome to Motorhoming Adventures. Motorhoming Adventures. Absolutely, this is our new channel and the old one being? It was, it was offshore and onshore adventures but here we're going to bring you all things motorhoming, the UK, Europe, further afield, who knows. Absolutely and we'll also be bringing across some of our original films that are on our old channel or motorhoming films of course and we'll be bringing them on to this channel so you don't miss out absolutely yep yeah. so stay tuned all things motorhoming technical trips travels you name it it's great to have you along yeah absolutely and if you enjoy the channel please do subscribe oh, of course please do subscribe and of course the odd like is good too thank you morning everyone today we're going to take you up the outdoors nikki Nikki is in the driving seat. Say good morning, Nikki. Good morning. And guys. Julie. Good morning. Yes. And we're off in the van. No, morning. We're off in the van known as Fan Lass to go for a look up the outdoors. So uh, come along with us. It's going to be fab. And if you look at the uh, Google Maps route taken, you can see we've got a little bit of zigzagging as we go up this amazing mountain. Look at that. Still in the corner. down there and there's some trusty souls we've passed about 10 already walking up and yes another hairpin it's all hairpins it's all hairpins not that I've ever needed a hairpin but uh... Resort, Outdoors Resort. 
wow, look at those houses perched on the very top. Absolutely incredible. Been climbing for about uh, 10k so far and uh, we're getting closer to the top. Lovely ski shallows, look at that. And of course, what a viewing point when the uh, Tour de France does come up here. Amazing. Front row seats. And there we are, entering Alp Tuez. Not that I'm a, not that I'm a skier, but uh, a skier's mecca, and of course a cyclist's mecca. And fair play to them. We've passed loads of them making the trip up the uh, up to the up to the summit here, which I'll have to find out what sort of height we're at now, or that we've come up, to let you guys know. So, Van Las the van has got us to the summit. And how all that greenery suddenly comes shooting up when all this snow has disappeared. Amazing. I think we're out, very outnumbered by uh, by builders, but it's still just an amazing experience. Let us know in the comments below, guys, if any of you have uh, skied off these uh, amazing peaks. First time I ever tried skiing was in New Zealand on Mount Rupeu and spent most of the day on my backside so I'm definitely not an accomplished skier but would love to perhaps get my fabulous daughter and son-in-law to teach me a bit more about skiing so I didn't spend quite as long on my backside Interesting shaped hotel there. Very smart too. Just every every turn is a wow moment. So beautiful. And of course, we had to find a coffee. Look at those views through the houses there. We've come to a pretty random place, the Bar Lindiana. Bad boys go to hell and good boys climb Alp Duez. Well, there you go. Not quite sure what that's about. Very random inflatable thing. 
looks a bit like a chipmunk. Bizarre. Still, the ladies are there. Rezzy? And of course, a stack of bikes. And the, uh, and the climb, incidentally, took us from about 710 metres up to about um, 1800. So about 3,600 feet we climbed in the van this morning. To give you an idea of that scale. Um, fantastic climb that was. Hope you enjoyed it. It's almost surreal, the, uh, the views you get when you look through the gaps in the building. It is absolutely incredible. Get up to about, in uh, peak season, sort of December, when it gets really busy here, then uh, up to about 25,000 will, uh, will be packed into this resort, into every nook and cranny of it. And by crikey, the tills will be ringing, ringing in these places, cafes, restaurants, pizzerias. Fabulous. And this has to be, well, A, what a view from up there, driving that, but this has got to be the building site of building sites in terms of location and uh, view, hasn't it? It couldn't get much better than that. If you had to go to work and build, you'd want to come here. And... Wow, what a bench with what a view, eh, my lovelies? Absolutely incredible. So Isn't how, it? How, how high up are we, Ross? Uh, we are at something like six and a half thousand feet, I think, at the moment. So Not bad, not bad. Yeah, just amazing. And we were watching a minute ago, guys. I don't know whether it's... Oh, yeah, there he is up there. Look, you can see him on the skyline there. It's uh, an eagle come, came up through the valley here and he's just soaring round on the thermals. You might just be able to pick him out. He's just going over there at the moment. You can just see him wheeling round and round. There he is. Absolutely stunning bird. Just a shame I haven't got a zoom on this, uh, on this little GoPro. Yeah. Wow. And if I can... No, isn't he beautiful? Beautiful. Coming across the valley. Oh look, he's coming a bit closer here. Wow. Looking out for some poor unfortunate little bunnies or similar for lunch. A little snack. Wow. Look at him, hardly beating his wings at all. Just using the thermals. We're about um, in the shade today, we're, or the thermometer weather forecast reckons we're about 23 today, so obviously in the sun there, the thermals, the lift, not much wind at all today though, just incredible that we've been so lucky to get up here on, uh, on such a good day for visibility and lovely warm day. Tiny alpine chill in the air when the wind does blow, but really, apart from that, plenty of sun factor million on. Some lovely uh, alpine walks as well. There's a map we saw in the uh, tourist office that show loads of walks going up into the, uh, up into the hills from, uh, from the Alp, Alp d'Huez resort here. That uh, may be for another day, but definitely on my list of things to come and do, a bit of alpine walking in the summer season. The eagle's disappeared now. But yes, rather a good little view from that bench, wasn't it, lovely? It's absolutely incredible. Oh, lush indeed, lush.
enjoying your trundle down the hill there, my lovely. Oh, lovelies. yes. No, that's in, a, uh, in a new van. Yes. This one is called, of course, Fan Lass. Indeed. And I'm not looking at the view. And Julie is not looking at the view. Let me just swing around to Julie, who's not looking at the view because she's not over keen <laughs> on these these hairpins or these heights perhaps. Whereas give me a zip wire any day down into the resort. Well, we made it back down. Barbecue's out. Might be a barbie tonight. In fact, there definitely will be a barbie tonight. Washing's out. And let's, uh, let's give you a brief look at some of the other bits and bobs before we sign off on this film. Amazing film of that uh, Alpe d'Huez run. Show you a bit more of La, Con uh, La Rencontre du Soleil. This is the um, shower block and stuff, really nicely done. Lovely, pretty geraniums up there. And uh, a very nice setup inside. Loving the uh, chalet style doors and the uh, designs on all the woodwork in here. Fab. And then. Uh, out the other side, there's a laundry in there. TV room up top, up above. Nice little all-weather court here. Bit of, bit of table tennis going on. And then uh, this was the uh, restaurant we were in last night for that absolutely fab grab. And I thought the only other bit that I hadn't showed you yesterday was round to the um, round to the pool and stuff. Isn't that lovely? Wow! Another wow moment when you come round the corner and see that. And there we go, there's the, uh, there's the pool, which was absolutely lovely earlier. And then there's also a, uh, also a lovely little play space as well for the youngsters. So really, all in all, absolutely lovely spot, sliding roof there. And uh, just look at that, can't remember a swimming pool where I that I was in which had views like that and then some of the chalets that they uh, rent out as well as doing of course camping motorhomes you name it absolutely gorgeous and then these lovely seating areas out here it's uh, got up to about 24 ish today and then 27 28 tomorrow so absolutely lovely lovely outdoor dining area And uh, can't be too many places better for a, a view and a cold beer, which I'll definitely raise a beer to you guys tonight. And hopefully you've enjoyed that day today up the Alpe d'Huez and a bit of a look around the site here in case you're thinking of a trip to the Alps. 
So we hope you enjoyed that trip up the Alpe d'Huez today, wasn't it? Oh, oh absolutely incredible, God. stunning, beautiful, oh, it breathtaking. It was a bit like Nikki, really. Lots I guess, more adjectives there are to describe it. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice of you. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Just like <laughs> Nikki. Oh. Right, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that today and um, we'll see you again very soon we got of course another couple of weeks out here so we'll send you some more films uh, from us on the road until next time thanks ever so much for watching see you again soon bye, bye.